Welcome to part four of how to create a body mesh. Today is going to be more um, technical, I guess. We're going to teach you how to actually upload the body mesh onto our platform. So here's Deadly Sin. All right, so now you should have your skinning done. I'm gonna show you exactly how my skinning is looking. So you should have all the poses as well. Look at that. So all the poses we did earlier, we have, so as you can see, even an regular pose is fine, checking if everything is not stretched. One of the most important ones is this one. You try to fix this one as much as you can, but it's really hard on MV this one. And this one is important as well. It should be kind of, you know, stretched as much as possible here and nicely and done. And just to show you here the envelopes, how things are looking. So I use the pelvis nodes, I believe, if I can select this button, thank you around these areas to fix some um, mistakes I was having. So don't overdo with the pelvis node, it's gonna break everything else on MD. So uh, remember this one's its specific values, in the bottom it's 5.5, five, okay. Here is, on these tips, it's the wrists on different size, and here it's neck uh, 3, okay. So those, those points you can't really change the, you know, the Oh my god, I'll just say the, the weight of it, the, the rig of it. So, my ship is done, I'm really happy with my shape, I skin it already. Now, now to test it on the MVU, you should always test now when you have a good skin and then do the last, the last tweaks. I already did that, I already skipped that step because I'm not going to record that step, it's just pretty much I'm going to show you how I do it. So just before we export, make sure you apply the this one, the, mod, the, the normal one that comes with the MVU, so you can have the, the skin here. The material correct make sure you have the material correct on here which is number eight on your edit poly is in here make sure uh, it's eight like that just like that power break power mesh and now we just go here and export I already uh, have it somewhere around here export and just export I'm I'm use I, I like to use XMF just export as XMF. Are you sure you want to replace? Because in my case, and then make sure you select the, the male bone or the, the, the skeleton master bones. Just wait a little bit for it to export. And voila. Put this one back on. So now um, we should go back on end view and you're going to go on the create tab and then you're going to derive a new product. So just to show you, you go here on create, you just click on those arrows, right? and derive a new product and then you go on empty derivables and you go on male clothing in this case if it was a female you would not female clothing and now in here the thing that i like to do as well is put like one of those neutral rooms like gray or something like something like this with no shadow or whatever and and voila now on the meshes here as we need to, to hide a few things so we need to hide for example i believe it's two one of them like that and I believe it's five, six, and seven. So I'm gonna just gonna delete the gonna six and seven, which is the, the bottom of there. And I'm gonna leave five. Why? Because I'm gonna add here the mesh ID five. Oops, and I'm just And now if I had my male body, it should be just fine. Now if this happens, it's totally fine. All you gotta do is apply the material here, the naked skin. Apply, and there you go. Now we have our guy with our shape. Now remember the shapes. Ver they, uh, they can completely change uh, depending on the pose on the avatar you are wearing. But this is where you should test your poses now. And what I mean by that is you should go in here and know, something uh, like poses and the, and the dance. Okay. And now you just click on poses and, and you find, uh, you know, big mistakes that your pose can have. I'm really happy with the product right now. I'm really happy with the skilling that I did. I don't see many mistakes. Actually, I don't see at all. The memory MV has always has some mistakes happening the, between the legs, so that's something to you know. And now let's try to dance. See if nothing breaks when he's dancing. Uh, I, can, I can only find a dance. There you go. <laughs> so this is how you check your work. If everything is nice, there's no crazy vertex popping out. Everything is blending in. Everything is working nice. That's good. 
You can test some avatars, but remember, avatars can change the way your shape looks, because, you know, avatars sometimes look too cool. Something that affects really a lot the shape is the skinning as well, because I, I don't want um, a very muscular guy, so I actually prefer a skin like this, so my shape actually fits better what, with the work that I did, as you can see, the little belly there. And, but yeah, this is how you test your work. Make sure the connections are perfectly nice, make sure the UV map is nice, I'm going to explain to you what, later, what is that if you don't know what a UV map is. Uh, as you can see, everything is nice here, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'm just gonna leave it and go back to, to Max. Now, now let's say something is wrong. Very simple, we just come over here and we would just fix it with the skinny. We just find the area that was giving us troubles and just uh, fix it. Now, as you can see here, normally the, the area that people have the most uh, trouble with is on the, the this area over here. So the trick is very simple. Go on this pose like this and find the middle the middle one here and make sure that everything from here to here belongs to the you know the left side and everything from here to here belongs to the right side and that will help you a lot in the skin and make sure that nothing in here is influenced by anything on this side only on the middle one is it's okay to have a little bit of both but anything around here should not have both okay that's a good way to fix that and in terms of skinning that's it now something about unwrapping it's it's making sure everything on the map is everything is nice. Sometimes something can break or something doesn't look like the way we do. So we have to do some tweaking and fixing um, to make sure it is. For example, I don't like too much this area over here, but I, I, I already fixed my, my thing here. As you can see, I already, if you have like uh, green arrows here, you should just click like this and well select a subject object and you will actually fix. But remember, you can't really fix too much this shape, okay? The max you can do is, for example, you can click like this, don't move them ever, and you can just go on uh, tools over here and you can relax, but keep the boundaries point fixed, let's put them on ton, and just start relaxing. You can do this, but remember, keep always an eye to see if you're not breaking anything. And the way to do that is you keep going on the end view, and you can use this default skin as well to make sure we're not breaking um, the way the skin looks. Because this one is the body shape, and it's very important to not change this, okay? You can do some tweaks, but you cannot change this. Otherwise, all the other skins of all the other devs will not work, okay? It will break your work if they try to put a skin on here. So this one needs to be defaulted, even if it's all range, needs to keep being defaulted. And I think this wraps up, that literally wraps up our tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. Uh, at least now you should be able to make your own body shapes for MV. Uh I think I show you pretty much enough techniques, or at least all the techniques that I think you need. I don't know what to show you more. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope to see you guys um, on another tutorial or something else and have a good time. Bye-bye. We hope that was super useful to you. Leave us a comment below and let us know what you think. And also click here for part five, which is the last of the series on how to create a body mesh. And subscribe to our channel to make sure that you guys are kept up to date on all of our newest videos.